guys thank you so much for tuning into my channel if you're new here my name is show love and don't forget to like comment down below and subscribe to my channel also follow me on instagram at show love for more amazing content like this so today we're going to be learning how to make this weekly planner in adobe indesign So the first thing you're going to do is go over to the left side and select create new. Then we'll go up to the top and select print. And then we'll go over to the right side and our units will be inches. Our orientation will be portrait and facing pages needs to be selected. Also your width will be eight and a half. Your height will be 11 inches. And then we'll scroll down to margins. You go ahead and select this paper clip right here. All of your measurements will be 0.5 inches except the inside, which we will change to one. From there, you'll select create. And here we are. This page will be your cover page. And then we'll add two more pages for your actual planner. So you'll go over to the pages panel and then we'll go down to the very bottom and we'll add two pages. So it'll be the square with a plus sign on the inside. And here are our two pages. From here, we're going to go ahead and create the days of the week and also the actual box. So we'll go over to the left side panel and select the rectangle tool. And then we'll just drag out our square. And then from here, we're going to select our rectangle, hit the Alt key, and then drag and drop. There we are. And then we'll do that one more time for the bottom box. And then from there, I'm just going to select all three boxes. And then we're going to change the weight of the stroke to five. And then we'll also change the color. So we'll double click on the color. And then here you're able to change it to whatever color you like. Then once you have your color selected, you'll go to add CMYK swatch and then you hit OK. And now we have our boxes from here. If you want to see what it looks like without the margin lines, you'll just hit the W key and then you hit it back to get those margins back. From here, I'm going to add the actual days of the week. So you hit the type tool, go over and drag and drop your box and type out your text. So this will say Monday and then we'll highlight all of the text. Go up and change the font to Cali Littles. And the size will be 60. Then from there, I want to give my text box a feel so that you don't see the line of the actual box. And I'll show you more of what I mean now. So from here, I'll select the box and then we'll go up to the top to feel and we'll select paper. And then we'll just line it up in the box. Perfect. Now to get rid of these lines right here, for viewing purposes, we'll go up to view, select over print preview. And now you see that box disappears. And from there, I'm going to select the text box, hold down the alt key, and then we'll drag and drop. And then we'll do the same thing for the third box.
perfect then from there i'm going to select everything on this page then i'll hold down the alt key drag and drop it to the next page and here we are so i want to bring down all of this to the bottom of the page so I'm gonna select all of it and drag it down. Perfect. Then from there, I'm going to select this box, press down the Alt key and drag it up to create another box. And then we'll size that down. Perfect. And from there, I'm going to Select the actual text box, hold down the Alt key, drag it up, and there we have it. This will be our week of box. Perfect, so there we have it. And then I'm going to go over to the rectangle tool one last time, and then we'll create a, another rectangle. This one will go all the way across the second page. Perfect. So we'll get rid of the outline and give it a fill, which will be the same color as the days of the week boxes. And there we have it from there. We will update the actual days of the week. So if this happens to your text box where you end up with a red box with a plus sign on the inside, all you have to do is drag your box open a little bit more and then it will disappear. That's just an alert telling you that all of your text is not fitting within that box that you started out with. Okay, perfect. So now we have all of our days of the week updated. Now we'll work on the actual graphics. Also, I will leave a link down below as to where you can get the graphics and the actual font. So we'll go up to file and we'll go down to place. And then here's where you can grab all of the graphics that you want to add onto your weekly planner. Okay, so once you have all of your graphics selected, you just go ahead and place them like so.
So from here, if you need to scale down one of your graphics, you would have to select your graphic, then hold down the control and shift key at the same time, and then scale it down as desired. The reason why you want to do this is because if you don't, it will scale down the actual box that your graphic is in instead of the whole graphic itself. And I'll show you that right now. So if you were to scale it down without hitting shift and control, you see how it cut out some of your graphic. You don't want that to happen. So you would have to select the shift key and control at the exact same time and then scale down your graphic or your image. Okay, perfect. So from there, I'm going to add a shadow, the same color as the days of the week boxes. So I'm just going to select every image that I have here. And then we'll right click. And then we'll go to effects, go to drop shadow. And then you'll just change the color here. Select OK and then select OK one last time. And here is our drop shadow. Here's what it looks like without the margin lines. And then we'll go up to the cover page and then we'll tackle that really quickly. So we'll go over to the rectangle tool and select that. Drag and drop your box here. We'll change the weight to about five as well. Change that color. And there we have our box. From there, we're going to add text. So it will say weekly planner. We'll select it and we'll change it to Cali Littles as well. The font size will be 100. And then we'll change the color here as well. Just line it up. And then I want to add 2020 on top of that. So I'm just gonna copy the text box and paste it above. And then we'll change the size to 150. And then we'll align that here. Perfect. So the last thing I wanna do is add a small graphic. And then I don't want that line to be seen, so I'm just gonna go up and add a paper fill or a white fill. And there you have it. Our weekly planner cover page and the planner. From there, you want to go up to file, you can save it as an Adobe InDesign file or you can save it as a PDF. I will be saving it as a PDF, so I'll go to export, give it a title, then you go to save as type, then you hit Adobe print, save. I will leave all the default settings the exact same and then I will hit export. And there you have it. So I'll show you what it looks like as a PDF. All right, and here we are. Here's the cover page for your 2020 weekly planner. Here is Monday through Wednesday. And then Thursday through Sunday. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram at shell love by loves.